Okay. Alright. Let's see what this phase four can do. That's a hundred. Yeah, we're good. 78. Let's hope I don't miss. Pumpy spot to shoot. change of plans we have a south wind and that field we wanted to go look at all the way up to there it's like our wind would be blowing right into the field so we try to decide to switch it up go into the timber more and uh yeah this is Jason's officially uh first hit ever it's 447 so 450 so we got about three hours or so left so we got plenty of time my Hoyt uh decided uh the serving on it's our coming off so I would need new strings and then my cams cracked so I got a I needed a new bow or new limbs or whatever so I decided to get a new bow so my fiance actually bought it for me but I got the Matthews Matthews phase 4 with the fast eddy with the ultra view 2 scope 10 inch Bomar stabilizer that I got for my birthday and then I got these new arrows that you guys seen already shooting the severs and then also got a new release this is the ultra view hinge 2 that i got for my birthday from the guys and then the gear i have on right now i got it for christmas from my dad so it's just a whole bunch of new stuff that we're using today i've been getting a lot of gifts lately huh? it seems like i guess we also i also got my new platform the xop invader and then i got the new sticks the x2s so basically everything is new. It took us a while to get up in the street because we were, this is everything's new. We've messed with it a little bit on the off season, but not too much. But yeah, we're gonna get settled in here, relax. It's super freaking hot. So I don't expect to see anything until like right before sunset. It is October 8th. We have a uh, October cold front. It's 40 degrees out. It's pretty chilly. We started off the season with a pretty big bang. Austin sat yesterday, sat for two hours, and shot a buck. And so he harvests a pretty good one. Martin and Buck Jame are out. Me and Tayson are out. We're just mostly moving around trying to find this buck that we had on camera in the summertime. And He's kind of just like disappeared on us. We got to walk up the river about 0.7 miles. So we're here pretty early. It's 625. Sunrise is probably like 7 something. So we got maybe about an hour. But hopefully the river's not too high. And we can just walk right up it. And then uh, we're going to go to the spot that me and Austin Shaw went to last year. That has a whole bunch of buck signs. So with this cold front, hopefully there's some bucks moving around. So yeah, we're going to get packed up here and loaded up. And get moving in but i also did see two other hunters on the way and two other trucks on the side of the road over here but they i think they're hunting like way over here we're going like complete opposite way so yeah let's do it Six bar, bar like 50 yards over here, but 
right, right along the river, so we're hoping the thermals are just gonna pull straight down right here. And we can hear other stuff walking. I'm not like 110% confident in this spot, but like last year when we were in here, there's just a ton of books on everywhere, so. Those are small bugs. guys set up I'm running solo today so um, I don't have a camera arm that works anyways but so I'm gonna be running a GoPro I'm gonna try to put it somewhere like behind me to where where I think they're gonna be coming but I had a trail camera here almost all summer this is where I got a picture of that uh, pretty big buck in the velvet I haven't seen him since I've had I kept this trail camera over here and I've been getting pictures of does consistently and some smaller books but this is only one like small piece and I'm surrounded by a whole bunch of I'll show you guys real quick I can see a ton around me I can see way over there over there and over there and my trail kind of pointed right here but basically all this stuff is just like super thick willows so, mostly an observation sit, obviously if a deer, a doe comes in, I'm gonna take my chance at her, but yeah, it's not looking like I'm gonna get as lucky as Austin. So, just gotta have to put a little bit more work, but I just heard some walking in over there. This is part of one of the warmer days of this week. This week has been pretty cold. Today's like 70 and like I was sweating walking in. Uh, but should be dropping here soon so they should be moving again and so it should be a good time
So I was right there. I think she was right here. She might have been further back. I'm trying to find my arrow real quick. I just see it sticking out of her. She came from over there, came right across this here, got to go out here and took my shot on her. Try and find my arrow. There's some blood right here. Some blood right there. She took off this way. I'm pretty sure she's crashed right here, but I'm gonna wait for the guys to get here. Oh, there it is. in there. I have a hole back. Oh, there she is right there. Yep. Yeah, right here. Look at that. Oh my god, my bad, bro. Gucci? <laughs> Can you hear me? <laughs> Alright, well, we found him. Uh, it was a little bummed. Like, I knew it was kind of smaller, but this meat's going to taste great. Alright. I'll get her done. Oh, God. 